Hello everyone. Welcome to Jamil Latif Luxury Channel. Today we are going to go over the top 10 sports bikes in 2021. Sports bike for many the ultimate purest form of motorcycling with speed, cornering, brilliance and the ability to be the fastest from A to B delivers most two wheeled excitement with no compromises for comfort or practicality. Then a sports bike is the motorcycle for you. and the very fact that the by delivering just that means sports star status have the most sophisticated engineering and technology all wrapped up in a racy post bike body work only added to the appeal but of course that is not the end of the story sports bikes aren't the everyone a, a 120 cc sports bike restricted by law to 515 bbh requires a slightly different set of attributes those entering a2 class will want sports bike fun but a degree of user friendliness too and although there are plenty of later class super bikes out there all being to be some kind of ultimate with price extending over 40000 pound It is not easy to know which suits you best. Besides, although one hugely popular Super Sport 600 class is now only a shadow of that what it once was, there are still plenty of sub 1000 cc sports bike all capable of mind bending thrills available too. So to help you choose, we have decided to come up with a round up of our current top 10 motor bikes. to includes bike ranging from A1 120s all the way up to 20k plus WSB winning weapons and to help budgeting arrange them all in price ascending order hopefully there are something here to suit you if there is we promise you won't be disappointed top 10 best sports bike in 2021 number 1 Aprilia RS125 GP replica price 4599 pounds when you are 17 and only qualify or for a one compliant 15 bph 125 a sports bike has a slightly different meaning with styling and kudos triumphing but with usability and affordability being important too but although yamaha best selling r125 remains popular the ultimate post bike for this generation is surely italian Marky Aprilia Gorgeous RS125 effectively the Ducati of the 125 class the RS built its reputation in 90s on the screaming 125 GP a like two stroke engine with the aluminum twin beam frame cycle parts the styling to match and although since 2011 euro regulation have forced in it to switch to more muted four stroke power its RS V for a liking, styling, quality brakes, and suspension, and GP heritage means it is still one of the most lust after. Today's a new RS125 will get you back 4,499, but the GP replica for 100 pound more comes in a full Moto GP alike livery. Number two on our list today, KTM RC390. pricing 5299 pounds arguably the rarest purest most focused a2 compliant sportster of all the rc390 is a simple lightweight compact single cylinder sportster inspired by the austrian fam a moto 3 race bike and based on the power strain and running gear of its lively luni 390 duke as such it's a small focused and fabulous fun as long as you are fairly small and like your thrills in short doses it's 44 bhp single though, though not as thrilling as a multi as enough to beat ton but it's a sharp lightweight chassis and braking performance yeah, where the rc truly stand out where few bikes are nimble lively and engaging through medium speed twisties plus being also light and small mean rc is also about a unintimidating as a sports bike get for novice riders too not cheap and it is so basic so you don't wonder a little where your money is going but it is still one of the best 
Number 3 on our list today Kawasaki Ninja 650 pricing from 600,899 pound. Once you have qualified for full license the idea of moving straight to a 150 bhp plus liter class super bikes can be more than a little intimidating which is where newcomer friendly middleweight sports are like the ninja 650 coming introduced in 2017 the updated and refreshed in 2020 it is fully updated version of old ER6F and as such is based around the familiar willing and free reviving 649 cc parallel twin the dominates mini twin racing and particularly in the rename junior TT reworked to produce the useful 67 bp bhp It is now held in a lighter Ninja H2 inspired tubal or steel chassis with a new year suspension twin baby disc and racy all new body bag that's kind of mix between Kawasaki ZX 10R and Ninja H2 the overall result looks great is decently equipped lightly nimble and upright enough to be an absolute doodle to ride reasonably versatile and yet great fun to thrash and brilliant looking as well as a stepping stone to 100 bhp plus sports bikes there are few better number 4 on our list today aprilia rs660 costing 10150 pound aprilia's all new rs660 is a revelation a 100 bhp middleweight twins that's effectively half the v4 from the rsv 1100 v4 it succeeded is being both of genuine classy and enjoyable road sportster yet it is also one of the affordable and accessible for relative novices with a short wheel base sharp steering geometry lightweight and quality suspension it handles brilliantly yet it is also surprisingly relaxed and comfortable with an excellent real world aero ergonomics the new engine is a great fun to try sound good responsive and blessed with excellent fueling and a synchronized quick shifter while the bonus is when you look down at a full color tft dash you are not doubling the speed limit and facing a jail sentence should you get caught the rs660 is reasonably quick i had estimated top speed is around 140 m ph but unlike rs v4 not scary on the road the overall result is a versatile fun and desirable bikes for inexperienced and experienced riders like and comfortable unintimidating roads bikes with a typical aprilia sporting edge number 5th on our list today bmw s 1000 rr costing 15590 10 years on the from the original game changing S1000 RR BMW have come up with an all new third generation model that has not only finally got rid of the controversial asymmetrical headline but also better in a very every way more powerful now the gg 24 z of bhp lighter sharper steering and more sophisticated BMW's new flagship is also even more surprisingly easier to ride more roomy comfortable reassuring as well never the cheapest yet to succeed in wsb and admittingly facing fierce competition from the likes are not to just ducatis v4 peningal but also honda's latest fireblade and the newly updated and wsb dominating kawasaki zx 10r and the bmw stand out not just for its brute power and dynamism but even more for its real world road manners prestige badge classy dealer network and decent residual besides if you want more there's also bmw traditional long list of accessories and even a new m 1000 rr version number 6 on our list today kawasaki z dash 10xr costing 15799 kawasaki zx Dash 10R has been the world superbike track king pretty much since this latest point version complete with 197 bhp and track attitude like no other was launched in 2011 then continually evolved since 
if you wanted to track ready rav hungry electronics laden racer replica the zx 10r was one as has been proven by its seven world superbikes title in cooling six in a row from elstrman jonathan ray since for 2021 thanks to an aerodynamically driven facelift and other subtle modes it promises to even better still while true track finds have the option to go further still with the rr version complete with the lightweight marchesini and forge wheels titanium engine parts and more for whooping 24,799 pounds if you want to close us thing there is n- to prove one superbike king this is it number seven on our list today suzuki gsx r1000r casting 16,999 pounds suzuki had been known of one of the big hitters in 1000 cc superbike class ever since its introduction of the class leading first gs xr 1000 k1 in 2001 however despite subsequent highs such as 2005 k5 version and gsx r fell away slightly from 2007 becoming larger and heavier and by so doing remaining a great road bikes and less competitive on the track all of which made the arrival of all new MotoGP inspired Gixxer in 2017 big news. Two versions were available base bargain price GSX R, which has now been dropped. With this R version complete with the variable valve timing and higher specs cycles that grabbed most of the headlines and won that year's senior TT with michael donald number eight on our list today yamaha zf r1 casting 17399 pound yamaha's legendary r1 has been at the top of the japanese superbikes tree ever since the original reward for the class rules with its whooping 150 php but ultra light weight in 1998 repeatedly updated for five distinct versions since his latest generation MotoGP M1 alike version debuted in 2015, characterized by diminutive GP looks and whooping 175 bhp power and the sophisticated electronics. In truth, it had started to fall behind the pace pack and once again, particularly the class leaders from Ducati, BMW, and Kawasaki. But a 2020 updated and refreshed, improved look made its Euro 5 compliant without compromising its 197 bh peak power. Its dash many not quite much, latest big screen color TFT from all alike stuff, S1000RR and V4 Penningle, and it remains compact and extreme, but the latest R1 specifically in a higher spec, semi-active or all in and suspension equipped R1M from casting 22,599 arguably remains the closest thing to a Japanese MotoGP bike you can buy and who doesn't fancy a playing at being rossi number nine on our list today Honda CBR 1000RR-R Fireblade casting 19,999 after a decade in the superbike doldrums and the false promises of all new 2017 offering had neither a raw power upset the elite nor electronic sophisticated enough to compensate for it the legendary fireblade was finally back with the bang in 2020 derived from honda's moto gv expertise with 201 bhp sorted electronics and sharper and racier than uh, ever it contrasts with previous recent blaze and being totally focused on winning on the track which it is have already made a decent feast of it the downside of that is of course like most super bikes to be honest it makes little practical sense on the road it is ext- in like extreme can be annoying revere and the most without shift cam supplied grunt of bmw latest s 1000 rr the latest blade requires you to forget the previous example also had a flexibility and comfort that made them great road bikes but as a track weapon this is the latest fire blade 
is the sharpest yet. Number 10 on our list today, Ducati Penningill V4S costing 24,995 pounds. The revolutionary bike doesn't come along that often in a superbike class. Going back to the early 1990s, there was an original Honda CBR 900RR Fireblade followed by Ducati's 916 in 1994. The first R1 in 1998 was followed by the first GSX-R1000 in 2001. But this Ducati all-new V4 replacement for its long line of class-leading V-twins is up there with all of them. First there is its significance V4 in place of Ducati's V-twin heritage. Then there is its specification, a class-leading 214 BHP at a crank, which translates into equally class-leading 198 BHP at the rear wheel. A PLS chassis slatted with semi-active oil ends in the S form, the base model does without. The very latest Brimo Systemella calipers, Masfreni wheels and class leading electronics all controlled by a flash full color TFT display. But the best of is all how it all works and goes. That's simply like nothing else. Most superbikes are capable of taking your breath away and the Penny Gale V4 does it in every way. Its look, specs, ability performance and yes, it's nearly 25,000k. It's price too, but boy, it's worth it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell for all our future luxury amazing videos.